Hi, I'm Dave Cathy, the food dude, and I'm here today in the beautiful Coach House restaurant with chef and owner Kurt Fleischfresser. And today he's going to make us a, a salad, uh, one of the recipes out of the new Tastefully Oklahoma cookbook that's uh, put out by Made in Oklahoma. Hi, Kurt. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Doing real good. This place is spectacular. Thanks. We just got it dressed up for the holidays and ready to go. What, tell us a little bit about the Coach House first. Well, we've been here for about 23 years. Uh, I personally have been here for about 20 years, and uh, it's uh, just kind of a fine dining restaurant, but uh, not, not, uh, not a church. It's a nice place to go. <laughs> it's comfortable. Uh, we use as much local ingredients as we can, try to have a, really an Oklahoma cuisine. Yeah, lo- local. That's kind of what Made in Oklahoma is about and kind of what this book's about. Tell us a little bit about the recipes that are in here. Well, the recipes are kind of uh, offshoots of the of the. Uh, spots we did for Discover Oklahoma and a collection of uh, Kitchen Kimberly's and mine from those shows and uh, also uh, local recipes. Some of the Made in Oklahoma people put recipes in. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff and it's a lot of, you know, highlighting, you know, things that we have here in Oklahoma because when you go to the shelves and see all these things, I mean, and you've got products that are, you know, just as good as it, you get anywhere or better, uh, you might as well buy Oklahoma. So. Especially in these hard economic Oh, economic definitely, times. definitely. Sure. And there's there's a certain amount of uh, there's a green quality too to uh, to shopping local as, as well. Keep your carbon footprint down. Exactly. You don't it's not shipped. I mean, mm-hmm. th- as far and and it's here local. It, right. There's a lot of upside. Yeah, great. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of your other adventures here in the city. Well, I'm also partners in Sushi Neko and with Sashi, uh, Will Rogers Theater, and the Lobby Bar is kind of a new project we're doing up the street. Uh, I've, I've kind of gravitate toward, I've kind of stayed on Western most, <laughs> mostly, so, and also uh, partners in Irma's Burger Shacks. Uh, we have one on 63rd and Western and one in Midtown. A little bit of something for everybody, sounds right. Like. And, and good, good outlets for Oklahoma products, too. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, let's go into the kitchen now and uh, take a look at this, uh, uh, this demonstration on uh, salad. All right, we're going to make uh, a recipe out of the book, which actually has a couple recipes, two different dressings, a warm one and a cold one. And uh, for the first recipe, uh, we're going to start with uh, some pineapple preserves and simply mix together. uh, The pineapple preserves are Dijon mustard. And uh, actually, a good thing about these is they're a little bit lower in fat than uh, your normal uh, vinaigrettes because we've got these uh, a little bit of sugar in there. So we have a better flavor carrier without all the fat. Pineapple preserves makes it kind of a little bit exotic. So we're making a cold dressing. I'm gonna add our mayonnaise. And this is a recipe that's in the book. And obviously some of the recipes in the book are to make simplify things like we do in this kitchen uh, for your home kitchen. So with just a little bit of mixing, you have a great emulsified cold dressing. We're gonna take some mixed greens and drizzle some on the salad. If you don't use all the cold dressing, it'll last for more than a week in your refrigerator, covered. You can adjust the salt and pepper. Once it's on the greens, probably would be better to your taste. Put a few of the greens on the plate. Then we're gonna make the warm dressing. So I'm gonna take a a non-reactive skillet, put a little bit of our oil in here. Actually, that's a little bit of our vinegar in there. A little bit of our oil in here. Put a quarter cup of onion in there. Saute it up real quick. Wanna just break it down a little bit, but leave a little bit of crunch to the onion. Then we're gonna add our red plum jam. Mix that in. Add a cup of apple cider vinegar. Just bring that to a boil. We're also gonna use some of the uh, chicken breasts from, the, from uh, Advanced Foods, which are already seasoned and everything. We could use a, a regular chicken breast and season it up, but this kind of makes it a little more convenient. 
and just slice it into a little fan there. So while this comes to a boil, we're going to arrange our chicken on our salad. This will be a light dinner entree or a very nice lunch. So once that comes to a boil, we're going to add a quarter cup of oil. Mix thoroughly. So right when you're ready to serve, we're going to add our warm dressing. Kind of gives it a little, makes it a little more satisfying. Adds another dimension. The two, the two different dressings playing against each other. We're going to put some uh, croutons on there, which the recipe in the book takes it to this point. But since it's kind of uh, for the seasons, I'm going to add some dried cranberries, some pecans, got some nice grape tomatoes. We'll put in here. And salads always will fall down. You never have to push them down. I'm going to fluff that up just a little bit. And then we have the entree salad with two dressings. To get the recipe for that great looking salad, get your copy of Tastefully Oklahoma at most area grocery stores. You can also get it at the Made in Oklahoma website and Full Circle Books.